Hey guys, this is Sir Mars and you are watching Lectures Ni Sir Mars. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for video updates. So today, we are talking about the Venn diagram and how to solve problems involving them. Let us first tackle the concept of the Venn diagram. So Venn diagram illustrates the logical relationships between two or more sets of items by using overlapping circles or other shapes. We have here an example of a Venn diagram using two overlapping circles. Remember that we can use any shape to represent a set of items. In this example, the sets of items are set A and set B. Inside these sets are the elements the part where the two circles intersect is called intersection. Here, we can find the elements common to set A and set B. Now, these sets are part of a larger set called the universal set represented by U. Outside of these circles, we can find all the elements that are not present on both set A and set B. We will now try to solve example problems with that concept in mind. So we have here our example problem number one. In a school, a number of students are randomly selected to be surveyed on their favorite beverage. Survey results are 140 students like tea, 120 students like coffee, and 80 students like both tea and coffee. How many students like at least one of the beverages? We will solve this by constructing a Venn diagram and filling it with those values given in the problem. In this situation, we need to know how many sets of items are involved. Here, we have two sets. The first is for the tea and the second set is for the coffee. We need to construct a Venn diagram with two overlapping circles and label each circle with the name of the sets, namely T and coffee. We have to fill these spaces on our Venn diagram starting in the centermost part, which is common to the two circles or sets. According to the problem, there are 80 students who like both T and coffee. So therefore, we place 80 in this intersection. With that, we need to work outwards to fill the rest of the diagram. According to the problem, there are 140 students who like tea. This 140 includes those 80 who like both tea and coffee. We'll need to subtract the 80 from 140 to know how many students only like tea, and that is 60. So again, so in this figure, there are 140 students who like tea. 80 of them like both tea and coffee. So that means only 60 students like tea only. Applying this same principle for the set of coffee, according to the problem, there are 120 students who like coffee. And this includes those 80 who like both drinks. Therefore, we subtract the 80 from 120 to determine the number of students who only like coffee. And therefore, we have 40 students who only like coffee. So, as our Venn diagram is complete, we can now identify how many students like at least one of the beverages. We just need to simply add all the values on our Venn diagram to do this. So, 60 plus 40 plus 80 is equal to 180. Therefore, 180 students like at least one beverage. From the choices, the correct answer is letter D. Take note that if there are students who did not like either tea or coffee, the number should be placed outside the circles. But this must be excluded in the computation since the problem only asks for the number of students who like at least one of the beverages. Let us now solve another problem. Okay. So for the example problem number two, an engineering professor surveyed his students regarding their favorite subjects. The following information was gathered. 60 students prefer algebra, 
50 students like calculus, and 45 like physics. 30 students enjoy both algebra and calculus, 25 students enjoy both calculus and physics, and 20 students enjoy both algebra and physics. Only 15 students enjoy all three subjects equally. What was the total number of students responded to the survey? Unlike in the example problem number one, we have three different sets of items in this problem. First is the subject algebra, then calculus, and physics. I have tabulated the given values in the problem for easy referencing. To solve this, we need to construct a Venn diagram that has three overlapping circles representing each set. Starting in the centermost part or the intersection of the three sets, the value is 15 based on the problem. This represents the 15 students that enjoy all three subjects. From here, we need to work outwards again. Next are the intersections between two sets. On the intersections between the algebra and calculus, the problem stated that there are 30 students who enjoy both the subjects, algebra and calculus. Take note that this 30 already includes the 15 who enjoy all three subjects. So take note that we are talking about the algebra and calculus intersection, which includes the 15. So therefore, the remaining 15 only enjoys both algebra and calculus. Next is the intersection between calculus and physics. According to the problem, there are 25 students who enjoy these subjects. Again, we are talking about calculus and physics. So if there are 25 students who enjoy both calculus and physics, and 15 of them is already written here, so therefore the remaining 10 are those who enjoy only calculus and physics. And we have the intersection of algebra and physics. According to the problem, 20 students enjoy both of the subjects. So if 20 students enjoy algebra and physics and 15 of them is already written here, therefore, five students are those who enjoy only algebra and physics. Now, for the values of the remaining spaces, the problem stated that there are 60 students who prefer algebra. With that, this algebra circle must be equal to 60 students. To do that, we need to add all the values within algebra and subtract the value to 60 to get the exact number of students that only like the subject algebra. So 5 plus 15 plus 15 is equal to 35. And since 60 students like algebra, then 25 will be the remaining students who only like algebra. The same principle is applied in the sets of calculus and physics. For the calculus, the problem said that, that 50 students like calculus. So we need to add the values within this set, which is 15 plus 15 plus 10. That is equal to 40 all in all. And again, there are 50 students who like calculus. So 50 minus the sum of this, which is 40, is 10. So therefore, there are only 10 students who only like calculus. Moving forward, the problem stated that, that there are 45 students that like physics. So again, we need to add 5 plus 15 plus 10, that is 30, and subtract this to the 45 who like physics. So 45 minus 30 is 15. So there are only 15 students who like physics alone. There you have it, guys. Our Venn diagram is now complete. We can now solve the total number of students who responded to the survey. To do this, we simply need to add all the values present in the Venn diagram. And voila, you will now have the answer. So 25 plus 10 plus 15 plus 15, plus 10, plus 5, then plus 15, there are 95 students who responded to the survey. Therefore, from our choices, the correct answer is letter C.
take note that if there are students who did not like all the three subjects, the number should be placed outside these circles. The number should be included in the computation and must be added to these numbers since the problem asks for the total number of students who responded the survey. And that is it guys, it is very easy. Hey guys, try solving this problem and test your understanding. The correct answer is in the video description below. Check out my next video. I will teach you a much easier and shorter method in solving Venn diagram problems, the plus minus method. Stay tuned. If this lecture has helped you, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, you can comment below or send your questions to my Facebook page, Lectures Knees from Mars. I will paste the link in the video description. You can also download the PDF of my lectures and PDF references for civil engineering by visiting my site. The link is also in the video description. Thank you again, guys. Once again, this is Sir Mars, and see you in the next lecture.